A video from 1984 that demonstrates how to send an email is showing people just how far technology has come. Checking your email is usually as quick as clicking an icon on your phone. In fact, avoiding emails on your days off can be a greater challenge. However, this wasn't always the case. And a video has emerged that shows the steps required to check messages back in 1984. Technology reporter John Elrichman shared a video that gives insight into just how tricky the world could be before the internet. The video has illustrates the larger attachments required to read messages while on the move. The video begins with the presenter of the program attempting to access messages from his home while on a train. He reveals a large modem that the phone slots into to make the connection. Unfortunately, while on that particular train, this does not work because of the amount of change that would be needed to make the call internationally. As the presenter says, you can't win them all. After a quick cut, the presenter can be seen sitting on the floor of an honorable Japanese hotel room. He then dials the number of for London and then the number for the computer. Before the telephone lets out a tone, he then stuffs the modem with the phone. And using a screen and small keyboard, the presenter types their details and can begin going through their personal messages. The strange connecting modem has entertained many. Equally, some are shocked that the presenter claims that he doesn't want the audience to see his account number or passcode, but makes it very clear when he is pressing on the keyboard. As a result, a Twitter user has already figured out the login. Fortunately, this email address probably isn't it used anymore. The video also promoted discussions about why payphones have disappeared from trains as people laminated their signal on public transport. Others talked about the fact that the internet as we know it didn't even exist when the video was made. In 1989, the World Wide Web was officially invented. But some of the technology that allowed for this to happen is being used here. One user has noted that this video highlights the TCP slash IP model developed in 1983. It seems that reading emails used to be pretty tricky. With that in mind, many will be grateful about their smartphones, although slightly curious about payphones and trains.